Hey everyone, this is Leadbetter 17P and we have a juice review uh, today from TNS Vapors. Uh, I believe that's the name of the company. Uh, let's see, yeah, TNS. Uh, we have a bottle that I had won. It's a 60 ml bottle. I won this on Vapors TV probably, I don't know, maybe a month and a half ago, two months ago, and I've had it sitting here on my desk uh, for quite a while. I wanted to let it steep really, really well before I did a review on it because I did try it when I got it and it was a little awkward so uh, I figured I'd let it steep and I haven't tried it yet since it's steeped so we're gonna take a look at it so uh, it's not your everyday bottle either so here is the bottle right here it comes in a 60 mil skull bottle uh, go figure skull bottle for the win right it's got a nice little dropper on top uh, we're gonna rate this on three different things a bottle packaging vapor production and flavor so bottle packaging, it's obviously it's a 10 out of 10. It's got the child safety cap on the top. It has the awesome looking skull bottle. And on the back of the skull bottle is your label right there. Uh, this is Skull E-Juice from TNS. It's called Witch's Brew. This is a Max VG. Uh, and it has a warning label. Uh, it tells you your nicotine strength and so forth. Uh, this is bottle number 73 of 80. So there was only 80 of these bottles uh, filled and, and sold to the public. And uh, yeah, so we're going to uh, give it a 10 out of 10 on the uh, bottle packaging. So vapor production. All right, we have a Velocity Mini on a Segeli 150 with a 0.2 ohm dual coil build with Nichrome 80 and uh, organic Muji cotton. So let's go ahead and give this a quick shake. I have not shaken it for at least a month, so we're going to make sure it's mixed up really well. There we go. You can see some nice little bubbles in there. All right, let's get this cap open. If we can get this cap open, there we go. I'll give it a quick smell. Definitely in your face with the smell. Uh, but like I said, this is called Witch's Brew. Uh, we're going to talk about vapor production now, so let's go ahead and give a little bit of juice to this RDA. Don't want to do a whole lot. All right, there we go. We are all juiced up. Get our top cap put back on. Make sure it's in place. Adjust our airflow, and let's give it a quick vape. Let's try not to get juice in my mouth this time, too. Uh, with these little Velocity Minis, when you fill them, if you uh, go take a big giant uh, haul off of it, you get a little bit of juice in your mouth each time. So let's try this. I was really easy with it, and I still got juice in my mouth. Go figure, right? All right, so let's try this one more time. Vapor production is really decent. Uh, not bad with my setup. I'm running at 65 watts on the Segeli 150. Uh, so definitely a 10 out of 10 on vapor production. Now, flavor. Um, the flavor profile of this juice, it's called Witch's Brew. It's basically an apple cider. Uh which is in your face apple cider uh, now if you like apples and you like that in your face apple flavor then you're gonna love this juice uh, I don't honestly think it's a bad juice I actually really enjoy the flavor of this I just kinda wish it was uh, a little more mellow uh, more of a mellow apple cider instead of a really strong rich uh, flavorful apple cider if you know what I mean so let's go ahead and give it one more vape, and we will give it a uh, quick rating on the flavor. All right, so like I said, it's an apple cider. Uh, you get a really crisp, fresh apple with this. Uh, I mean, like the apple is straight in your face when you go to vape it. Uh, when you open the bottle and smell it, it's in your face as well and uh, it's it's a really strong apple so like I said before if you like a really strong apple this is for you if you don't like a really strong apple then I'd recommend to stay away from this uh, so uh, all in all flavor wise I'm gonna give this one a uh, 7 out of 10 just because I wish the apple was a little bit more mellow uh, just, I wish it wasn't so strong on flavor uh, which is weird because usually I want a juice that is really flavorful and this one is too flavorful. It's like they 
dumped a ton of extra flavor shots in it. So all in all, our ratings on this skull bottle of e-juice from uh, TNS, which is labeled Witch's Brew, we have a 10 out of 10 on bottle packaging, a 10 out of 10 on vapor production, and a 7 out of 10 on flavor. Uh, so check them out. I will put the link in the description below for you guys. Um, I don't think you'll be able to get skull bottles from them anymore. I'm not 100% sure on that. Uh, like I said, this is number 73 of 80. Uh, it says right on the back of the label. Right there, 73 of 80. That's what the labels look like. Uh, the labels are really haphazardly put on. Uh, but I can't really hold that against them because it is a skull bottle. So I'm pretty sure there's not really much surface to stick something to on the back. But, um, yeah, it's not bad. So... Check them out. Link will be below. Uh, if you like what you see, go ahead and click that like button down below. Leave a comment in the comment section with any questions or concerns, and I'll do my best to get back to you as soon as possible. Don't forget to check out leadbetter17p.net for downloads, game videos, tech videos, and vape reviews. Uh, there is also a donation button on the front page of the website. The donation button is there for you guys to donate towards vape giveaways here on the YouTube channel. Uh, I can no longer uh, pay out of pocket for the vape giveaways here. So if you guys would like to see vape giveaways, I strongly suggest that you guys donate uh, for vape giveaways for like bottles of juice or hardware or whatever you guys want to uh, donate for. If there's a specific item that you would like to donate for, there is a contact option on that website as well. You can always message me and I'll get back to you as soon as possible about that and we can work out something for a uh, donation uh, for a certain item. So uh, other than that, don't forget to share and subscribe. And until next time, this is Leadbetter17P. Keep on vaping.